Again, the beauty of the virtual environment is that we can install all packages and dependencies in one place, making it easy to share and update. We will learn more about importing modules in a future lesson, but for now we need to use the pip command to get the packages we want. What is pip, you ask? Pip, P-I-P, is a package manager for Python packages. And what's a Python package? Well, a package is a collection of modules that contains all the files you need for said modules. But what is a module? Well, a module is just a file containing Python definitions and statements. Now, we could keep playing this game forever, but hopefully you'll feel more comfortable by the end of this section. So where were we? Ah, yes, explaining why we need pip. Pip is a package management system used to install and manage software packages written in Python. Since we are using Python 3.6.6, we don't need to call pip3 since our environment is already using Python 3. We can just use pip and it will know to use Python 3. Your terminal will always tell you if the packages were successfully installed, which hopefully is the case. Now let's first activate our virtual environment again running source vem bin activate in our current working directory and we see that it's active and now we can install all of our packages which will be contained within this virtual environment. Downloading a package is very easy with pip. All we need to do in our terminal is go to our virtual environment and tell pip to download the package we want by typing the following. So it would be pip install and then package. Now this is where we're gonna put the package name. It's gonna vary and, and most of the time uh, searching around the web, you will see all the pip package names. So in our case, what we need is first and foremost, we're gonna pip install pandas and you're gonna see that it's running through it, collecting everything. Let's hope we don't run into any errors. Uh, but pandas is what we're going to primarily focus on in this class. After that, we're going to pip install Jupyter. And Jupyter is uh, what we're going to use for our Jupyter notebooks, and that's going to be our work environment. It's a great tool. And the next two packages we are going to get are pip install sklearn and this is scikit-learn which is used frequently for data analysis and more specifically machine learning. And then we're going to pip install scipy which is also one that's often used uh, looks like, oh, it was already installed through one of the other packages. Let's pip install matplotlib. Now this is going to be used for plotting. We won't be doing a ton of this, but in one section we will highlight it. And it oh, looks like some of my, my pip version may be out of date. That's all right. And then lastly, let's pip install pprint, which is pretty printing and can just make it a little bit easier to see some of our data. Great, now we're all set uh, for the most part. And what we can do is we can see which of our packages are installed in this virtual environment by running pip freeze. So here you have it, all of the packages uh, from those installations as well as what came already in this environment. Now there's one other way that we can install necessary packages and that's through the requirements file that you can get um, in S3 or, or on GitHub. And really what you would run here is wherever the requirements.txt file is, we could run pip install dash r requirements.txt. Uh, oh, so it's not in the proper place. Let's see where we are. Okay, I just moved it in. So actually now you see it there. So let's go up and right there so we could run it. Now you're seeing its requirement already satisfied since we 
updated everything. Now I pulled this just from my test environment. So we'll see, oh, it looks like it's uninstalling and then reinstalling a few things, uh, but we can ignore that for now. Awesome. You are through the first part of the class and we should be all set to move forward with building our model using Pandas. The next section will focus on setting up your Jupyter Notebook, which is what we will use to run our code. See you there.